The 6.7 Power Strokes have two cooling systems. That second system is very important. Let me show you why. So a lot of you folks out there driving these Super Duties don't realize they have two cooling systems and how important both cooling systems are. Inside your dash, the coolant gauge is only registering this primary system. This secondary system, depending on the year model, may not even have a sensor to detect if the system is low or if it's over temp. The newer trucks will give you an error code because the charged air coming from the turbo through the cooler back into the intake will register variance issue where it's not seeing a drop in the air temperature and that's how you know that this thing is empty. So he had a leak in this secondary system, drove for we really don't know how long until his truck started running poorly and he came in saying turbo sounded bad, engine sounded bad, that secondary system got hot and let me show you what happened. So on these Power Stroke 6.7s, your air comes in through the filter box. From the filter box, it's gonna go through the turbo, it's gonna get compressed, it's gonna go through a charged air cooler and it's gonna heat exchange off of the secondary cooling system. From there, it's gonna go into the intake manifold and then into the engine. This is the first time I've seen this happen. The air coming through through the intake was so hot you can see right here it's actually melted back the inner plastic lining of this intake manifold and then on this back side where it collects a lot of heat back here against the firewall there's exhaust up pipes that come up and so we have heat shielding air inside this manifold was so hot it blew out a hole here so we've got a half inch size hole here and then on these other two sides right here where the heat shielding wraps around was its weak point it didn't have the support it blew out a hole on both sides so we've got three half inch to one inch size holes blown apart in the back side of this plastic intake manifold but like I said I've never seen this happen normally that charged air cooler tube will blow out before you'd ever see something like this but when you do your oil change pop the hood everybody knows how to check their primary system make sure you double check that secondary system too it's very important to make sure this air going into your engine is cold